We're going to teach you how to set up and run your training kit on Jess. Start by preparing your standard pack reagents. Add 40 microliters of water to the DTT tube. Mix by pipetting up and down. To the pink fluorescent master mix tube, add 20 microliters of 10x sample buffer and 20 microliters of the prepared DTT solution. Mix by pipetting up and down. To prepare the biotinylated ladder, add 20 microliters of deionized water to the blue tube and mix by pipetting up and down. Next, prepare the HeLa cell lysate. Prepare 0.1x sample buffer by adding 1.5 microliters of 10x sample buffer and 148.5 microliters of deionized water. Mix by pipetting up and down. Then add 18 microliters of HeLa cell lysate with 72 microliters of 0.1x sample buffer. Finally, combine 20 microliters of prepared 5x fluorescent master mix with 80 microliters of your diluted HeLa lysate sample. Mix by pipetting up and down. Vortex and denature your samples at 95 degrees Celsius for five minutes. Vortex, spin, and then store on ice. Next, prepare your primary antibody multiplex mix. Add 125 microliters reconstitution agent two to the HSP60 primary antibody tube. Mix by pipetting up and down. Add 200 microliters reconstitution agent 2 to the beta-actin primary antibody tube. Mix by pipetting up and down. To prepare your primary antibody multiplexing mix, combine 15 microliters HSP60, 6 microliters beta-actin, and 279 microliters of milk-free antibody diluent. Mix by pipetting up and down. Then prepare your secondary antibody multiplex mix. Combine 15 microliters of anti-rabbit secondary IR antibody, 15 microliters of anti-mouse secondary NIR antibody, and 270 microliters of milk-free antibody diluent. Mix gently by pipetting. For fluorescent detection, add five microliters of biotinylated ladder. Add three microliters of prepared samples. Add 10 microliters of milk-free antibody diluent for blocking, 10 microliters of primary antibody, and 10 microliters of streptavidin NIR and secondary antibody. Add 500 microliters of wash buffer to each wash buffer compartment. Place the cover on the plate and centrifuge the plate for five minutes at 2500 RPM at room temperature. Then, insert the capillary cartridge and peel the foil from the plate. If bubbles are present in the reagent wells, you will need to burst them with a pipette tip. Place the plate in the plate holder and close the door. Start Compass for Simple Western by clicking on the shortcut on your desktop. Select File, New Assay, Immunoassay, Fluorescence, Size Range, 12 to 230 kilodaltons, and cartridge, 25. And then click OK, and start. Three hours later, you'll have fully analyzed results.